Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this file of these boot prints, and we need, I think I've already ungrouped it, but these two were a group, so we need to group just one of the boot prints at a time. I'm gonna take the freehand pick tool, because the freehand pick tool will let you go in that, and then we're gonna go to object, and we're gonna group it together. I am gonna left click in black, left click, no fill, right click in black outline. Then I'm gonna to go to the contour tool and I am gonna contour a half of an inch. Well, I've got it set on the, so half of an inch to the outside. And you see these parts aren't really touching and they need, they need to close that up. So let's go 0.55, just a little bit more. And you see that now we've got everything. And it just depends on how you want it to look. We're gonna to go to object and break contour part. And then I'm gonna grab my regular pick tool back and I'm gonna grab the, the contour and let me set my nudge factor on like five inches. I'm gonna take this and it just depends on your look, what you want. And I'm gonna show you two different ways. Then I'd go to object and break the curve apart. That way you can get rid of this little interior contour. Now, let's in go to the inside 0.5, which will be uh, just a little bit less. Well, to where it should be right on the outside. Break the contour apart, grab that center one, and there you go. You have a contour of the boot. Now, if you want it, you know, it's, it's, it's doing a good job, but if you want it a little bit uh, more, maybe like the bottom of the shoe or have it offset a little bit more, Let's just delete that one. Let's take this one and let's, if you have X7 or above, you have the smoothing tool. And that's way too big. Let's make it like two inches and grab and just make sure you grab it so you see your node and then just go over it real quick. It should not change really the, the, the shape. It's just gonna make it a little bit more even. Now let's take that, and you can get rid of a few more nodes manually, and if you don't have X7 and above, you can always take the shape tool, and let's just get rid of some of these nodes. It might alter a little bit, but I don't think it did too much. Then go, and we're gonna contour now to the inside that 0.5 again, and see now we have a different shape. Go to object, break contour apart, and then nudge it over. Now, if that's if we've messed it up a little bit, uh, you know, like that's a little bit close, you can always take your shape tool and manipulate, you know, part of the contour away of that. I think everything else looks pretty good. And you can also, let's set our nudge factor on something low, like 0 .001. You can actually nudge nodes so we can nudge that. I'm gonna hit the left arrow key just ever so slightly. It's something you really can't do by hand. And let's say that one is the same thing. Let's just, I'm gonna use the left arrow key just to kind of get it away from the shoe. Maybe a little bit on that node. And I think, well, got a little bit funny cut up here, but that's a shape tool and that's because we smoothed it out but we can change that by changing your handle and then changing this. The nodes right now are in a cusp mode, which means it's only gonna do one side of the, the um, node and not both sides as you can see. And I think it's pretty good. I like it. Now, yeah, that's good. So now what you can do is, since this is a group, we should be able to fill it in with black. I would go in and take away the outline. And you've done this, and if, to me, you know, let's set our nudge factor on point on five inches again. Let's make a copy of this. And then what you could do, instead of doing both shoes, hit the plus key and mirror it. Mirror it the other way. Well, maybe just mirror it one way, and then you're gonna have to uh, just minutely 
oh, there's what's wrong. I had my, I was doing a video last night and had my um, object origin to the side. And now let's mirror it, mirror it both ways, see what it looks like. Well, you could always rotate it. And because it's a group, we can put it about where the hairline is in a part of the group. And this is another good reason for the uh, freehand pick tool to get that shape. All we have to do is just draw a line around it and see how we can go up through the middle. And then you can control G and group it together. And then you can manipulate it all at the same time and kind of get it exactly. And then that way, kind of both your boots are the same. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.